the only spoke that grew up reality and you also talk in a lot of your discourses about perception which is more important reality or perception even if reality is if you don't perceive it is not real for you so in your experience in human experience perception is of utmost importance because the reality is not your making it's already there perception is your making whether you allow it or not when i say perception i'm not generally today socially the word perception is used in terms of uh, opinion i'm not talking about opinion the way you perceive life you must perceive life the way it is not the way you want it so today because once human beings get identified either with their nationality with their race with their religion with their caste and creed and whatever else with their gender and everything else their perception is distorted because everything that you perceive in your mind is processed according to your identities as it's suitable for your identity once you're identified with something it's a prejudiced mind it cannot perceive anything properly that perception is uh, good enough for survival process not for knowing as such so if you want to perceive reality just the way it is the most significant aspect is and the most fundamental aspect is that you must be able to keep all the identifications that you have taken on in your life aside to rest them at least that you are able to look at life just the way it is not the way you think it should be so if somebody wants to start on this process of uh, you know putting aside the identities he or she has put on over a period of time from birth to whatever where does one start see any amount of teaching can only take you that far because you are only conscious of a few things a large part of a human being is unconscious actually most people wouldn't want to admit this most people are unaware of it they are even unconscious that they are unconscious that's real unconsciousness <laughs> yes so uh, to make one conscious of these things we need a method we need a process because the basic form of identities have entered us the two ways in which we take on identity is through our mind and through our body through our body we get gender identified then we get race identified nation identified caste creed everything will come on that through our mind also similarly we go according to our class caste creed education economy all these things are in the mind on many different levels these are the only two things so the essentially a hard core spiritual process is only towards this whatever we teach whatever methods we teach is essentially this if you sit here what you call as myself is here your body is here your mind is somewhere else what you call as myself is aside so once you have a distance between you and your body between you and your mind because both these things are things that you gathered over a period of time your body is an accumulation your mind is an accumulation so what you are not if you are able to keep it aside if you create a little distance all your identities will just evaporate once you are in such a context within yourself then you don't bother about it your perception will be crystal clear okay it is your own body your own mind which is blocking your perception without these two tools without these two aspects of body and mind you cannot survive they are survival tools but to employ them as survival tools and keep them aside that freedom that level of awareness is something that we have failed to cultivate in the society and you also believe that uh, a normal person who's leading a busy life can build this into his or her life and then evolve further see when you say a normal person what you're saying is that i am abnormal um, <laughs> average person okay i could say average then you could say you're above average yes no the important thing is no human being thinks he is an average person every human being thinks he is the most important person on the planet maybe not with reference to somebody else but within his experience he is isn't it so i wouldn't want to treat anybody as an average person every human being is a unique human being in his own way and uh, is it possible for him to integrate spiritual processes if he is going to office 9 to 5 and if he is doing this kind of business if he is in politics if in this very much possible because spiritual process is an inward movement what you do in the world is just a question of what's available to you see if you were here 100 years ago you wouldn't be anchoring a tv show true 
for sure you would be doing something else, not this, because there were no televisions hundred years ago. Sure. That doesn't mean you're a different person. You're still the same person. Today, because the opportunity is this way, you're doing this. If it was another way, you would be doing another way. So what happens in the outside is subject to external realities. Spiritual process is about the inner reality. And today, the kind of spiritual process you do, you could have done it hundred years ago, you can do it thousand years later. Because who you are as a being, as a life, that has not changed. Only our social realities, how we relate to it, how we act upon it, only that is changing. So the spiritual process itself is always relevant irrespective of where you are, what you're doing, because this is an inward process. It's got nothing to do whether you're in the Himalayan cave or in New Delhi, it makes no difference because you're still the same person. Doesn't it, uh, you know, not wanting to say it's cumulative, but over the years and over the centuries, doesn't it somewhere become that you take it to the next level or do you always start from scratch? When we say scratch, you can only start from where you are. You can't start from somewhere else. See, this is a serious... The question that you're asking is uh, far more significant than the way you're asking it. You're, you're asking it in, in terms of social realities. Should we start from scratch? Should I start from this or that? No, I'm See, beyond that. Anybody can start a journey. If you are serious about making a journey, you can only start your journey from the seat in which you're sitting. If you try to start from there, you'll only hallucinate, you'll never make the journey. From this seat, what is the next step and the next step and the next step? This is the only way you can go somewhere. But this is a serious problem with humanity. Everybody wants to start from where Krishna was, where Rama was, where Buddha was or where somebody else was. But they don't want to start from where they are. So, it is not about scratch or high or low, you can start your journey only from your experiential dimension where you are right now. What's the next step and the next step and the next step? This is the only way anybody can go anywhere. You cannot start somewhere else.